Chapter 36 Git Tag By now, we've learned how Git uses labels to reference specific commits. We've also learned that the head label is special because it acts like a you are here marker on our tag, telling us where we are at any moment. But Git also creates labels for each branch and even adds labels for remote branches. You can leverage the same functionality to add your own labels. This can be done with the git tag command, which adds a tag to a commit. Such a tag is a label created by you rather than one that Git manages internally. It will also never move, but stay on the same commit, unlike the way Git automatically moves its internal labels to keep track of things. Tagging commits like this is a way to sort of bookmark a commit, so you can refer to it in a simpler way than by using its checksum ID. One use case where tagging is used extensively is to track releases throughout the lifecycle of a project. To tag a commit, you use the git tag command followed by the tag name. For example, if you're releasing version 1.1.0 of the software you're working on, you could tag the most recent commit with git tag v1.1.0. Now at any moment in time, you can easily restore your working directory in the state it was when version 1.1.0 came out by running git checkout v1.1.0, which is the tag name. If you do so right away, nothing special will happen. But if you do it further down the line, when more commits have been added, you will find that git freaks out a little bit because you're now in a detached head state. We will cover what exactly such a detached head state is in a later chapter. For now, let's just agree that it sounds equal parts scary and funny.